Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel and thanks for joining me for another video. So today I'm going to be doing a flip through of my 2022 pocket planner. This is a Motum planner in the color Litchi Gray. If you have not watched my other pocket planner flip through video for 2021, I will link that in the description for you guys. So I did move into this new it's not new it's new to me i did pick it up at a buy sell trade facebook page um, i really love those sites um the first thing i noticed when i switched from the black to the gray is the gray is a lot softer the black one was more stiff this is softer and when i initially set up set it up i didn't put the fly leaf in it and i just noticed there was so much more room and i i do stuff these i don't over stuff them but i do tend to stuff them and i just noticed that um there was a lot more room in it uh and previously before setting this up my last pocket planner i didn't keep the um fly leaf in there because it was such a tight fit and i didn't know if this one had more room because it was a softer leather or the previous owner maybe moved um the strap over or stretched it out i did i do know that some people will do that um if she did do that I mean she did a really good job because it doesn't I can't tell that it was moved or stretched out um, but I really got to thinking as to why this had so much room so I pulled out my previous Moulton cover and again these are both regular pockets let me zoom you out a little bit so you can see the difference and really quickly you can see can you see that it's a little bit I lined it up here the gray is a little bit bigger not much maybe like one fourth of an inch longer uh, zoom you guys in so you can see see it's a it's about one fourth inch longer than the black so that is probably why I noticed that the gray is um is roomier so I guess they're not a hundred percent consistent and making these again they're both the regular pockets from Moulton so I'm not sure why that is the case they are the same length though I don't notice a difference in the length they both have the same um, size rings and size which is 25 millimeters if you know why one is bigger than the other please let me know but to my knowledge they're they're supposed to be the same exact covers just in different colors of course and then just for another comparison this I also have the what is this one called this is the Lux, and you'll see the Lux is quite bigger about an inch longer than the regular Moulton this one has 30 millimeter rings and the fly leaf has an extra pin loop i do yeah this one has a fly leaf in it as well but you see it doesn't have the pin loop so that is the difference between these two these are both the same height but it's just wider and this has a double snap closures where the regular just has the one okay so while i am not completely in love with the gray color i do love that it has that little extra room when i show the planners cover side by side it doesn't seem like such a big difference but i really notice it um in everyday use and closing it and like i said when i didn't when i don't have the fly leaf in here i have so much room um so i did go ahead and put the fly leaf in here because i have the extra room so let me guys back out again in my pockets here i just keep postage stamps and some address labels this was a freebie i got when i purchased um one of my i think it was the black Moulton cover of the buy sell trade website and inside i keep these two printables from hey planner girl i have the insert resizing guide the planner sizes this little be productive card and a be intentional card i really refer to the planner sizes and resizing guide a lot so i definitely make sure to have that available at all times i also have these 
dots from mini dot stickers from Star City Design and I have it in four different colors and I use this to color code my monthly section which I will show you a little later inside this big pocket I just keep some cash and some checks in here I have a little Ollie clip I have this charm here uh, the Starbucks cup was a freebie from something that I purchased and then ugh, it's kind of stuck on there okay I'll have to fix that later I just added these other little things myself so I have my fly leaf and in here I have my PM routine these cards are from um what is her name uh i can't think of her name i'll put the link in the um at home with kita she has a shop now i can't remember the name of her shop um but she does have a shop and i got all these cards from her and i just put the uh use my silhouette machine to make the labels and some flag pages there to stick them on but I have my color code my AM routine and my PM routine so I keep that in my fly leaf this little plastic dashboard I made myself with some laminate and I just cut it open to make it top loading this is from the planner spot um, I did subscribe to her monthly subscription um, and these are actually stickers it's four stickers but I just cut the sheet down and stuck it in here I thought it was very fitting for the winter months and on the back is the same thing this is from her February subscription box from the planner spot yeah I just cut it down because um, it is a little bit wider when you get it yeah and these are just stickers I don't know if I will ever use these stickers or I'm just going to keep it in here for uh, decor but that is what that is this is a little pocket that I made also with laminate and just hole punched it and then these 2022 are cards calendar cards are um, printables from Paradise Planner Co so I just stuck January and February in here all of my dividers are edible divider dashboards from hey planner girl prints and i think it comes with yeah so there's six of them and when you, you just edit them on your computer and you can put you know whatever order that you want you just type up this sheet on the computer so i have one is my inbox two is my mindset Three is my monthly, four is weekly, five is daily, and six is tracker. So this is my table contents. And when you type this up on the first sheet, it automatically type it automatically puts them on the dashboard itself. So you don't have to type it here and then type it on each of these dividers, which I loved. Um, again, this is a printable, it's an editable, editable file. This is also from Hey Planner Girl. It comes with the same, um, when you purchase th these dashboards or dividers, it also comes with these two. So I have that, my inbox, um, and I printed them on vellum and then laminated them. And then I took some sticky uh, tabs, some and where did I get these from? I think I got these from, uh, oh my God, At Home With Kita. I ordered these off of her shop, these little labels. But I laminated the tab inside. So once I printed the inbox sheet on a vellum, I stuck the tab there and then I laminated it and cut it down to size if that makes any sense so this is my inbox in my inbox I have my Disney movie Disney movies watch list I have a to buy list I have books that I want to read shows and movies that I want to watch on Netflix books for my daughter to read books for my son to read and then I have some note pages here and contact sheets here which I haven't used I'm not sure if I'm gonna use them or not uh, then I have my mine 
set tab and another one of these dashboards sorry mindset dividers that's what it is I keep calling it a tab but I guess it is a tab too and my dashboard this is another dashboard but I just printed it on vellum instead of the cardstock so this is cardstock this is vellum and then they have these goal trackers I don't remember where I purchased these from. I will have to, they're printables of course, and I will have to put that in the description once I figure out where I have it. But I have my goal trackers for saving and then my goal trackers for weight loss. And then I made this self care card. On the back side I have seven great habits, which I also made. Again, this is on cardstock. This begin again. Um dashboard is from Plannery on Etsy as well as this affirmation card then I have my daily weekly bi-weekly and monthly routines my a.m. routine and my p.m. routine I did write it out more detailed with the times that I wanted to do it so if you're wondering why I have it twice so these are what I want to do and these are the time frames that um, I want to do it in because sometimes I just get really sidetracked in the mornings and the evenings and I don't stay I do the task but I'm not completing them in the time that I want to so that is why that is here this is a insert that I made using laminate and then I stuck a um, pocket like a card pocket I don't know what to call those and where is this from? Let's go on a living spring. This is from the planner, the planner spot, I believe. I want to find a card or an image to put in the back side, but I just have not done that yet. Then we go into my monthly section. This is a freebie, a vellum freebie that I got when I purchased um, the Moulterm cover from the buy sell trade. This was included as a freebie. I have another dashboard from Hey Planner Girl. And then these monthlies are from Peanuts Planner Co. I believe this was a freebie on her Facebook page. It is dated, which is great. And here you can see that I am using my mini dot stickers. Um, I am color coding. Um, blue is for my son's sports. Pink is for my daughter's sports. Um, I think green is for days off. And then the gray is for holidays. Or I think, no, green is no schools. No school. And then gray is um, my days off. So that is how I'm using the monthly. I have the whole month in here. Then I have my weekly divider, my weekly section. This is another freebie. You guys can see. This is another freebie from that I got when I purchased the um, Moterm. Another dashboard from Hey Planner Girl. And then I have um, these insert this week, which is from Perfectionism Prints. It is a printable. The meal plan. Where did I get the meal plan? Um, I'm not sure. I have to check to see where I got the meal plan from. And put that in the description as well. But I know I got it from Etsy and it is a printable. And I believe this is from... Uh, ch -ch 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 Planner, well, no, Peanuts Planner Co. This weekly, but I'll have to double check and put it in the description as well. So it has Monday through Sunday, it's undated this week task, and then there's a little tracker on the bottom. So I really like that. I used that a lot last year, but so far, I haven't found a use for it this year. Then I have my daily section another freebie dashboard on vellum another dashboard from hey planner girl and then i have these weekly fold outs um where are these from i got this from etsy i want to say yeah i want to say um the planner room shop but 
again i will put that in the description box i really like these so it has the month a task um i guess this is kind of like a mood tracker here food log to buy delis um and then another tracker here I don't always use them for the purposes that they have them. Um, I just cross it out and write something else over there. I've been using it to track the weather. Next week and notes. And then at the top you can put like your most three important tasks there. So I really do like this. I have about a month's worth in here. And then I have these dailies. No, these are from the planner room shop. It's two days on one page. I use this for um, journaling or affirmations. Um, and then that. All of this um, in here, you know, this is my everyday carry. I will, at the end of the week, transfer over all this information into my home planner, which is the planner that I archive at the end of the year. And then I will throw these inserts away and just put fresh inserts and kind of do it all over again. Uh, here's my tracker section another freebie no this one this is not a freebie this is from the planner spot vellum um hey planner girl printable for the dashboard and then i have these inventory lists um, one for household items, pantry items, freezer items. I am still going through all that to fill it in. And these are printables from the, nope, it's called List Lab on Etsy. Then I have a monthly tracker, which is from Peanuts Planner Co. I think all the rest of these trackers are Peanuts Planner Co. So I have... Um, a tracker for my hair when I wash my hair when I retrace my hair when I do a mask I'm trying to um, cut down on the amount of dandruff and I don't know if it's the weather change or what but trying to track that and see what shampoos and conditioners are helping or making the situation worse so that's what I use that for um, yeah these are all these trackers are peanut planico so I have the year Yearly one, this is for miles. I just track on the days that I ran how many miles I did. It has January through, oops, January through June, and then July through December. And I have a fasting hour trackers where I track the hours that I fast each day, if I fast at all, my workouts. Here I'm just putting if I worked out or not. Um, I also have trackers in my main planner, which is my um, the planner that I'm, I archive. Um, in that planner, I will I do a detailed of what I actually did that day. If it was weight, if it was yoga, it was running. <clears throat> excuse me. Then I have my weigh-in tracker, so I weigh myself every day. Um, I have my. Re this is a reoccurring task and this is basically for those big household items that I don't need to do on a regular basis um, such as have the weeds sprayed, uh, trim the bushes, clean the oven, clean the fridge and the pantry, clean the cabinets, the garage, the linen cabinet, all of the kids and myself closets and drawers. And then I have on the back... Um, the health section where everybody has their physicals, um, home warranty, home insurance, home maintenance, uh, water maintenance, um, and then vehicle information there. Then I have this cleaner, which I hope I can really, really stick to because I do forget when the last time I did something and I want to stay on top of the cleaning because when you wait too long, then it becomes this really huge project that takes all this time. So this is um, just a task list here. And then you have week one through 26 and then week 27 to week 52. Um, and it's just, you know, my cleaning that I want to do. Then we have a budget section, my finances, I'm not going to go, I think I have pages in here that, yeah, has information on it, so <clears throat> I won't really show that. Uh, I have a check registry, and this post-it note was also a freebie that I got when I purchased this planner, and it does say that it comes from minimalist plans there 
and another <clears throat> freebie dashboard which is on vellum and it also says minimalist plans i wanted to show you guys this is okay so this is a did i get this i got this from peanut planet co i don't remember if i purchased it or if it was a freebie on her website but i use it it's dated 1 through 30, so you can, or 31, depending on how many days are in a month. You can basically use it for whatever, but I use it for bills. So I write down, I write out all the dates, and then I write my bills in order of the dates that they're due. And then I highlight them each as I pay them, because sometimes I'm like, did I make that payment? And I have to go on the website and check to see if one's pending, and this way, um, I pull it out, I check the date, I pay it, I highlight it, and I know that I paid it, and there's no question of if I made that payment or not. Um, I just have this one card that I got when I went to an astrology store, and I don't really keep anything in here. I just have one thing there, and then my uh, friction, pilot friction pen, and that is pretty much it for this flip through again i will go ahead and put the names of the shops in the description box because i cannot remember them all but i hope that you guys have enjoyed this video thanks so much for watching and happy planning